Welcome to 17,000 flavors of Indonesia with me, Abe. Today we are going to cook uh, opor chicken ala Krakatawa Indonesian cuisine or alami Abe. And then we are going to use uh, bumbu kuning. This is very quick and very flavorful. Turn off the stove and ready to cook. And don't forget your coconut milk. It's not coconut milk, it's coconut oil. I keep saying coconut milk. What's wrong with me? Onion, if you want to chop the onion, then we have uh, red pepper. Okay, I have to run and pick up something. I forget something, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I'm here. Yeah, cook it for maybe like one minute. Let the aroma coming out and then add lemongrass, kefir lime leaf, and then Indonesian bay leaf. If you want to have uh, more color, you can always add turmeric powder. Then the bumbu kuning. Let's do two spoon. Two spoon, if you want a deeper flavor, you can always add more. All right, let's that pyre. How do I say let's that pyre, what? And now, sliced chicken. Well, you can use uh, any type of chicken, I guess, but I'm using sliced chicken for the restaurant. It's easy to cook and faster. Because in Indonesia, we use bone chicken and it takes some time to cook. I mean, it's because in a big batch, but in the restaurant, we make one portion at a time. And then coconut milk, it's not coconut oil, okay? <laughs> it's coconut milk. And then potatoes or any type of uh, veggies, if you wanna put, doesn't matter. And make sure it's cooked very well, especially chicken, and you can add some water. Yeah, let, yeah, let them boil a little bit. Let's say cook two to three minutes you have to make sure the chicken is cooked okay chicken over is very common thing in indonesia we used to have this chicken offer in our festive days so especially for muslim uh, after one month fasting and then in the festive day this type of uh, meals always be for your breakfast i i will say festive dish or chicken opor Yes, make sure the chicken is cooked and taste, taste, taste. The saltiness. This type of uh, opor, it's like, they have that Indian influence. What, what I say that it's like curry, but it's not curry because we use coconut milk. But today I'm gonna make it less water. Less watery or less liquidy. All right then guys, this is one serving. I mean, one portion. Oh yeah, another thing about portion, I'm gonna make my cooking book is all about one portion it's coming soon guys so i'm gonna show you how to cook indonesian food one portion you don't need to make a big batch well now it's plating put your chicken up or right there oh my gosh the aroma so good all right put something green there anything green then uh, fried shallot you can put it there for crunchiness ready to serve we made opor today, which is one of the dish that I have in the menu in the restaurant, which is Krakatoa Indonesian Cuisine Hollywood. We are using our seasoning, which is 17,000 flavors of Indonesia. So if you guys curious and you want to cook this, buy the seasoning. So all of the ingredients, check in the link and description below, and you can buy online. Thank you for watching and see you next time for the next dish.